that's proposed for North Fork and the additional facility that Mono Wind is, is proposing, uh, what kind of impact does that have on Ch Chancy Gold? Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to have a very negative effect on us. Uh, it's going to affect our market share, our cash flow. Um, it'll uh, negatively affect our customer base uh, coming up here. Um, and it will also uh, negatively affect our uh, possibly our employees. Uh, we're going to look to be closer to their home, uh, cut down on their travel. Uh, so uh, it will um, have a devastating effect on, on this area, on our tribe, on our facility here at Chicago. Gold. How many employees are at this facility? Uh, I'll say about uh, 1,200. And it, the range of the range of jobs, for example, not just in the casino, but I mean, I'm sure they are they they union jobs. Uh, I have some union, yes, mm -hmm. a large number of union jobs here. Okay, uh, where do many of them live? Um, Fresno, Clovis, Fresno, Clovis, Madera, Mariposa, uh, some in Merced. So all the outlying areas have a great deal coming from Fresno, Clovis. And how many folks from the from the tribe work there? Uh, I'd say about a hundred. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, what do you think the effects of the Madera facility are going to be on not just this facility, but just in in general on the community there? Um, on uh, on gaming. On, the on gaming, on a, we could talk about traffic and air quality as well. <laughs> we haven't talked, uh, spoken much about uh, the traffic, air quality, water. Uh, you know, uh, I just saw that uh, Fresno was rated number four in the poorest air quality in the nation, uh, and uh, this is not going to do anything to improve that. And I'm not sure that uh, anybody is looking at that, uh, that ranking, and how it affects uh, people in Fresno, Clovis, surrounding areas. Even, uh, you know, the air quality appears isn't great all the time as well, and we're a lot higher. Uh, as for um, uh, gaming facilities of the tribes in this area, it's gonna be, it's gonna adversely affect all of, all of us. I mean, we're all going to be affected by this. Uh, you know, and again, um, the Kier Nancheria uh, is not opposed to, uh, to uh, tribes gaming on their land, on their territory. Uh, that's, uh, that was provided in uh, Proposition 1A, but this is an off-reservation gaming, so of course we have problems with that. But they are going to cannibalize um, the market share, the customer base, the revenue that uh, each of our facilities um, has access to. It will negatively affect our employees. It will have an adverse effect on, you know, people say it doesn't uh, affect uh, crime and other things, but it will affect all the businesses in Madera County, it will affect the small business owner, it will affect all the restaurants. It is going to have an effect, a very big, uh, large rippling effect. And uh, I don't know if people are really looking at that. It sounds, you know, great, we're going to provide all these jobs. You know, a lot of the construction, um, a lot of the, uh, most of the construction jobs that they are being um, publicized or tooting about is, uh, they're going to be from outside areas, they're not going to be local jobs. They're going to be outside companies coming from out of state to provide that those services. Uh, there will be some jobs provided, but a lot again, a lot will be cannibalized from other facilities. Can you give me a little bit of an idea, Mr. Lewis, of uh, what the North Fork Rancheria Casino near Madera is going to mean to the Chichancy people? Well, it would mean a huge impact to uh, the revenue at our casino up on Highway 41. The uh, surveys that we have done show that it would be anywhere from 35 to 50 percent impact. So um, that would take away the ability of our tribe to provide a lot of the services to our tribal members and probably to the bondholders that we uh, are have the indenture agreement with. Why should the North Fork tribe be prohibited from siting on that location? I think it goes back to the fact that uh, California voters voted that uh, in order to do gaming, it should be on your own ancestral land.